Hi everybody, it's SMK here, and we're going to do another episode of whatever I'm going to call this series to help you sort of get better at, at Dragon Ball's Universe 2. Um, today we're just going to go over stamina management, which I believe is a very, very, very big issue a lot of players have with this game. Like, they, they just can't grasp um, how to maintain their stamina. Um, and a lot of people end up losing games because they aren't managing their stamina right, and this is a very big part of the game. It's, it's what happens after the neutral game. So we talked about the neutral game in the last in the last episode, or last video I did here when I was talking about this kind of stuff, and I showed you essentially ways to get in from the neutral game already um, it, within that video and options you have in the neutral game. Um, but now what happens? Is, what happens when you actually get in? And let's say um, they have stamina. If they have stamina and you have stamina, um, let's say they vanish and they start comboing you, you know, start attacking you. What do you what do you do when they start attacking you like this? Oh, most players will just vanish as soon as they start attacking. That is not what you want to do. You don't want to do this. You don't. Um it's alright to do it when you have full stamina sometimes and you know you think you can you can deal with you know losing those two stamina bars, but most players will keep doing this no matter what if they keep getting attacked. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you more than you more often than not want to take these hits. You want to vanish something like right there instead. That's a good way to vanish, a good time to vanish because you can punish them at the end of their combo. Um, but they if they if they still may be able to do a back attack anyway. But you just don't you don't want to get hit. I mean you don't want to get hit. You don't want to just throw away your stamina just like that all the time. Uh, you want to make sure that you you. Some of the time, you, you, you take the hits. And you want to constantly mix it up when you vanish. That's another thing. When you Z-vanish, you want to constantly mix it up. Um, so, like, I took all those hits there, for instance. That's kind of what you want to do. You kind of want to take all the hits you can sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's not a good idea to just vanish like crazy. Now, what will happen if I just have normal stamina here? And let me show you what will happen if I have no stamina. So I vanish there. And I'm standing still now. He's not attacking me. He's attacking me again. I vanish again. So I have two bars. What do I do? Well, because I have two bars of stamina, I'm going to descend down to the ground, and I'm going to get my stamina back up. And if I get hit in the process, I'm going to take those hits instead. Um, but I will vanish out at some point, and then I can start attacking. Um, so I will attack him back. Now, nine times out of ten, what will happen is when... Um, when um, 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 um when <sighs> when you're when you vanish the other player will, will more than likely be ready to back attack you and so what do you do in that instance when they're about to back attack you well you have to, you have a very important option that I sort of showed, so, sort of showed you in in the neutral game video and that's the back step so the back step is very important when you vanish as soon as you vanish and somebody you know they're going to go for the back attack just back step you can either do a back step or the back step manual vanish, which um, is much safer. This is actually safer in this instance. You will find yourself never really getting hit. You won't act accidentally do a Z vanish when you do this because you're, you are spaced just right and the hitbox won't hit you. Now, of course, there are some characters where you will get hit. So like Final Form Cooler, instead of doing one of these, you're going to want to do two because he his hitboxes are so big uh, and the way he moves and contorts his body with his back attack allows him to still nick you even when you're this like about like about this far away from a normal back step vanish um, from just one of them. That's why you want to do two because the net code again is not very good. You have to compensate for that. You have to realize that things are not going to work the exact same way they do offline um, as they do online. So keeping that in mind, um, now you know what to do when someone back attacks. Now, they could start catching on to you doing that. So what you're going to want to do is, if that does happen, you can also sidestep around them if you want to. You can also do that. You can sidestep back around them. I don't often do this. I often backstep like that or, you know, do the manual backstep vanish um, and return back to the neutral game. And then what I'll do is I'll do something like this, um, you know, to once again figure out what they want to do next, what their next attempt is to attacking me. Um, so, uh, that's just returning back to the neutral game, but uh, going back to stamina management, so when you engage in something like that, uh, that gets you out of harm's way. 
And so that lets you regain your stamina back if you're on the ground or if you are um, in the air. You get a little bit of stamina while you're standing still in the air. Um, but so what, what that allows you to do is that allows you to then re-engage and um, the next opportunity you have to get into a stamina sort of battle type thing where you're Z-Vanishing a lot, you don't want to always Z-Vanish that much at all. You really don't. You like There are times you're going to want to Z-Vanish a lot because you know you can get in, but... Um, excuse me. You need to keep in mind that uh, most players online, they're going to be doing back attacks or they, yeah, they're going to be back attacks. You're, you're not going to want to challenge them because what's going to happen is you're going to go get into a clash. Um, so that's why stepping back is a good idea. Um, so then as far as other things related to stamina management, um, you don't want to do burst dashes very often unless... You see someone doing an ultimate or transforming, in which case you want to do the heavy, heavy burst dash. Heavy burst dash. Um, and th another reason not to do the dash a lot is so you can save stamina. This is why I sidestep a lot and I use stepping in as my main movement option because you have you have all the same options out of a dash that you do in a in a in a step. Uh, you know, in a dash you have you have that. In a step you also have it. In fact, in a step. Uh, you have you have access to your normal square combo, so actually you have more control. Like I was saying, um, you actually can you actually don't have to wait. You know you have to wait before you do your full square times eight combo out of that dash attack. Um, if you do a regular step in, you can just do that. Uh, so you can like so you'll even sometimes double double step when you do it as well because they automatically threw in a step in uh, when you do a square attack when you do your first hit of square. So. Um, this is all just extra information to for you to know that's related to stamina management. But, um, so this all helps you maintain your stamina because you're also wasting time and gaining stamina back while you're doing these actions. And you're saving on stamina by not dashing every single time, you know, every every second as your movement. You don't always want to dash. That That is the number one thing. You don't always want to dash. And I also don't agree with the idea of dashing to break your stamina. That's not a good idea. I don't agree with it. Um, it's it's probably best if you just descend back to the ground and regain your stamina uh, that way. Because you could then at least get two bars of stamina in the time that it takes for you to, um, you know, break your stamina and then get the full bar back. Um, personally, I would recommend just descending down to the ground and gaining stamina back fairly quickly. In addition to this, you might throw off your opponent because they're not expecting you to just, you know, go down to the ground and stand still. Uh, they might let you get away with it. And I, in my experience, a lot of players do let you get away with it because they don't understand what you're doing. They think you're just standing there and not doing anything. When in reality, you're quickly gaining stamina back. Um, and in addition to this, descending down at any point to get stamina back is a great idea for stamina management. I can't tell you how many times where I've just like descended down to the ground and I've had like maybe, you know, I had like maybe two stamina bars. And soon enough, before long, I had um, three or four stamina bars. Uh, in like less than 30 seconds. It's it's a huge difference. Like you don't always want to be in the air. You really don't. Um, any chance you get, bring it back to the ground because you're going to gain stamina back more quickly. Now granted, that also helps your opponent, but your opponent might be bad on the ground. There's actually a slight difference in um, playing on the ground versus in the air in this game. It's not a huge difference. It's very slight. Um, it's just, I, I don't know what it is, but it, it does matter to some extent. Um, and then what else is there, uh, stamina related? Um, you really, you really don't want to get stamina broken. Um, so having your stamina up, uh, while your opponent's trying to get a stamina break combo, it allows them to, it allows you to Z-Vanish out of their stamina break. So, they won't be able to get their stamina break combos as long as you maintain your stamina. Um, and it's really, it's really just about... Taking hits, knowing when to take hits that you can take, and knowing when to not panic Z vanish. I have personally, even though I know how to do stam I know how to manage my stamina very well. I have gotten and put myself, I have gotten and put myself into situations where I get where I panic Z vanish. Like my opponent has pressured me into doing that um, because I don't want to lose a lot of health, um, and that's going to happen sometimes. But you really don't want to put yourself in that situation all the time. Um, where you're Z-Vanishing all the time no matter what. It, that's that's not what you want to do in this game. Um, and 
In this game, it's way more forgiving to get your stamina back up than it is in Naruto Storm 4 or any of the Storm games, really. Because you, for that game, for those games, it's a timer. It's a timer that you have to wait before you can, you know, before your subs come back. But in this game, you have entire complete control over your own bar of stamina. You have complete control over it. It's completely under your control. So when you have your stamina low, and when it's less than one bar and you get stamina broken, that is entirely your fault. That is entirely your fault. Um, and you cannot, you know, you cannot merely wait for a, a timer. You know, you can't just like sit around, you know, and, and, and it, you know, dodge everywhere and whatnot and wait for that bar to come back. You have to, um, you know, you have to actually go down to the ground, stand still, and get that bar back up quickly it, while you're fighting. While you are fighting. Um, and trust me, I have done this before. You've, if you watch any of my matches on my channel, I guarantee you, you will see me at any given point, at one point or another in a match, I will descend down to the ground on purpose and gain stamina back, even if it's in a situation that uh, it may not work in. So, um, keep that in mind. That's a very important tool for maintaining your stamina. And um, aside from that, uh, that's really it. Keep in mind, again, also that blocking... You do lose stamina when you get hit as you're uh, blocking. Um, and then another thing also to keep in mind is that as far as Z-Vanishes go, you have the option of doing a blocking Z-Vanish. Uh, so let me show that off. It takes one bar. Uh, not many people know this, but it takes one bar. So if I have the AI attack me here um, on normal, and I'm blocking... Oh, well, he grabbed me, but... <laughs> and I'm blocking... I can just do that, and it will take one bar of stamina. Now, of course, he hit me before, prior to that. Um, and so that reduced my bar. So, see, I, it only takes one bar. So, keep that in mind. It takes one bar of stamina. And, um, you know, not me and many people can react to that. They don't think about that option. So, you do have that option as well. And it's really nice to use that um, if you really don't, you know, if you feel kind of pressured... And <clears throat> and you're not sure about um, you know what what to do or like if you want to just get out of there um, without wasting two bars of stamina. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, so like notice and then before I end this video, notice how slow it, it regenerates while I'm in the air here. You're standing still. It's very slow, right? Watch how I go down on the ground. And watch how much more quickly that 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 goes up. Look at that. You see how important that is. So, I hope this video has helped to some extent. Um, if you have any questions in the comments section, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, if you want me to do a more extended video on this, um, let me know. I can talk about some more. If you want to know some more situations, uh, just ask me, and I might do a separate video if I need to, to show a case example, you know, some examples about it. Um, other than that, uh, I hope this video helped to some extent. We talked about a lot of stuff here. Um, I, it's very easy for me to forget what exactly else there is to talk about, but I think this video should help a lot of you out. Um, so please, you know, give me feedback in the comment section. Let me know uh, if I should do a part two of this or something or not. Like if you need more information um, and if you just need, you know, some general help with stamina management, period. Um, but I'll be more than happy to answer any questions in the comment section. So. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope you have a great day.